happy fall, everyone. As promised, we have a dramatic scene full of characters in our night sky tonight. Tonight, we're going to learn how to find two of those characters, Queen Cassiopeia and her husband, King Cepheus. Now, I'm not going to get into the story of these two. For that, you'll have to come to a planetarium show. But we will learn where and when to find these constellations in our night sky. So grab your star map and sketch materials, and let's get going. Looking towards the northeast, Cassiopeia is in the recognizable shape of a W, or M depending on whether you're from Minnesota or Wisconsin. This W shape is Cassiopeia's throne. Her punishment for being so vain is that we can't see her in the sky, just her throne. Starting at the bright star near the zenith, Calf, we move down to Shadir, up to the central star, Navi, which is Ivan spelled backwards after the Apollo 1 astronaut Virgil Ivan Grisham. This star was also used as a navigational star by Apollo astronauts. We can then travel down to Rukba and end at Sagan. All five of these stars in Cassiopeia's throne are roughly the same brightness and can be seen from the cities. Cepheus, the king, is not too far away from Queen Cassiopeia. You can find him between Cassiopeia and Ursa Minor by drawing a line from Shadir through Calf and extending just a little bit beyond. I think Cepheus looks like a house or an ice cream cone when traced out. The constellation is anchored by the bright star Elduramin in the upper left corner of the house, and Eri, the peak of the rooftop, or bottom of the cone. A fun fact about these stars is that in a couple thousand years, each of these stars will have their turn at being our North Star. Polaris hasn't always been, and won't forever be, the closest star to the North Celestial Pole. These two constellations are so close to Polaris, our current North Star, that they are visible all year long, so you'll have plenty of time to learn how to find them and sketch them. They are the first two characters in the story of Queen Cassiopeia. Next time, we'll find Princess Andromeda and the winged horse Pegasus as they escape the sea monster that Cassiopeia brought to their kingdom. Until then, happy stargazing!